Hey guys, Lost here, and the Arma series has been around for quite some time now, so here are 10 facts about the Arma series that you might not know about. So starting off, many people coin the Arma series as a military simulator or a military simulation game or game series, and that is not how the games were originally meant to be. Unlike more fast-paced first-person shooter games like Call of Duty or Halo at the time, originally the first Arma was simply meant to be a military game with a large open world sandbox feel as well as a large amount of customization. It wasn't until the community got its hands on it that Arma 2 was actually coined as a military simulator type game. Dean Hall, the former project lead director for Daisy Standalone and the developer of Daisy Mod, said he had originally been inspired for the mod by games like Left 4 Dead 2. Up next, the maximum amount of units you can place at one time in Arma 3 is 3,024 for all four sides of conflict, which gives 756 per side. In September of 2012, Iran's National Foundation of Computer Games refused to allow the sale of Arma 3. They refused to do so because of the game's portrayal of the CSAT faction, which happened to have a similar equipment build and language to Iran, and they portrayed it as an enemy of NATO. Dean Rocket Hall has made one of the biggest impacts on a series, especially in the gaming community, so here's some facts about him. Dean Hall serves time in the New Zealand Air Force, where he achieved the rank of Lieutenant. He used much of his experience to create the DAISY mod, as well as he joined Bohemia Interactive in 2014. After a brief time, he left to create his own company known as Rocketworks, which announced its first debut title at E3 2015. Dean Hall was also the 42nd New Zealander to summit Mount Everest. He said the experience inspired him in much of the work he does with video game creation. Now, at number 7, in September of 2011, a British TV network aired footage of Arma 2 taken from a game documentary. The broadcast was entitled Exposure, Gaddafi, and the IRA. They mistook it for footage taken of an IRA attack back in 1998, and the broadcaster apologized, blaming it for a human error. Back in the early days of the Arma series, the first game did not receive very high marks. One game review said it had spectacular graphics and its multiplayer was great, but criticized its bugs as well as a complicated menu system. Another company, Computer Games Online, said, It's hard to believe that they actually thought such an unpolished game would enjoy any kind of success. At number 9 we have some facts about how many of each game has been sold. Arma 1, as of the 28th of February 2008, has sold 300,000 copies. Currently, Arma 2 has sold a whopping 2.3 million copies, and of October 2015, Arma 3 has sold 2 million copies, but keep in mind that is still almost a year ago, and Arma 3 has also had some major updates since then, so I'd imagine the number is actually quite larger. Now at number 10, Lucas Vesely, the associate producer on Arma 3, speculated that back in 2014 on an interview with Hernamag magazine that Arma 3 could be released in February of 2017. He also said that he is pretty sure that the sequel will be produced in the Arma series as it still proves to be a strong brand and a viable project and we will take care of it. Hey, so we're getting to the end here, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later.